How do we know that this is a book of prophecy? Starting in verse 9, it says, I, John, your brother and companion of suffering and kingdom and patient endurance that are ours in Jesus, was on the island of Patmos because of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus. On the Lord's day, I was in the spirit and I heard behind me a loud voice like a trumpet, which said, write on a scroll what you see and send it to the seven churches, which we're going to read about and talk about next week. I turned around to see the voice that was speaking to me. And when I turned, I saw seven golden lampstands, and among the lampstands were someone like the Son of Man, dressed in a robe, reaching down to his feet, and with a golden sash around his chest. We're going to dive in next week as to what the number seven means as well. His head and hair were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were like blazing fire. His feet were like bronze glowing in a furnace, and his voice was like the sound of rushing waters. In his right hand he had seven stars, and out of his mouth came a sharp double-edged sword. His face was like the sun shining in all its brilliance. When I saw him, I fell at his feet as though dead. And he placed his right hand on me and said, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am the living one. I was dead, and behold, I am alive forever and ever. I hold the keys of death and Hades. Write, therefore, what you have seen, what is now, and what will take place later. The mystery of the seven stars that you saw in my right hand and the seven gold lampstands is this. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven lampstands are the seven churches. As I said, we're going to dive into what the number seven is. But what I want you to understand is that this is a vision of what was to come for each one of us. And Jesus showed up to John at the time that he most needed him. You're going to feel at times when you read the book of Revelation that you can't move on. It's too much, it's too deep, there's too many things that are happening. Guess what? I'm going to give you a way out of that to help you through this. But it's so important that you read this book to understand it, enjoy it, and rest in it. You don't necessarily have to understand everything that's going on. But you do need to understand that there is a battle that is taking place for you and for me, and that battle hinges on eternity. We'll see you tomorrow.